Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to learn the lesson from Durusulogah al Arabiyah book, volume 1, chapter 2. We have learned the concept of hadha. Moreover, we have practiced using hadha in a sentence. Now we will learn dhalika. At the end, I hope you understand the use of dhalika, which means that. The objective number two. You will comprehend the difference between dhalika and hadha. Let's start the first point. Dhalika is ism isharah lil mufrat al mudakkar al baid al aqil wa ghayri al aqil. You can pause the video to read a word-by-word -word translation of Dalika's definition. In Arabic, Dalika is ism ishara. Literally, ism ishara means noun of indication. So, Dalika is classified as an ism or a noun. In English, that is one of demonstrative pronouns. The summary of the use of dhalika. Dhalika is used to indicate or to point an object or people that are distant or far. The object or people are masculine singular noun now have a look at the examples of dhalika in a sentence let's see the example of al-aqil or human dhalika mudarrisun dhalika means that mudarrisun means teacher dhalika mudarrisun that is a teacher. Next, the example of ghayrul aqil or non-human. Dhalika baytun. That is a house. Next, we will take a look at the difference between dhalika and hadha. As we have already known that hadha and dhalika are ism isharah which are pointing to the same type of nouns both are pointing to a masculine singular noun but they both have the difference usage in term of arabic grammar hadha is pointing to near distance Whereas Dalika is pointing to far distance. Next, we will practice reading the Arabic text in the book of Durusul Logah, Volume 1, Chapter 2 or Lesson 2 and enhance our Arabic vocabulary. Let's go. At Darsul Thani. Second lesson. Dalika. Ma dalika. Dalika najmun. Hada masjidun. Wa dalika baytun. What is that? That is a star. This is a mosque. And that is a house. Hada hisanun wa dhalika jhimarun. A dhalika kalbun. La dhalika kittun. Ma dhalika. Dhalika sarirun. This is a horse and that is a donkey. Is that a dog? No, that is a cat. What is that? That is a bed. 
من هذا ومن ذلك هذا مدرس وذلك إمام ما ذلك ذلك حجر هذا سكر وذلك لبن Who is this and who is that? This is a teacher and that is an imam or prayer leader. What is that? That is a stone. This is a sugar and that is a milk. These are new vocabulary list which you got from this lesson. Hajarun, stone, sukkarun, sugar, labanun, milk, imamun, imam or prayer leader. Lesson summary. You have studied the Arabic word for that. Namely, ذَلِكَ ذَلِكَ is used for masculine singular nouns which are far. هَذَا is used for masculine singular nouns which are near. ذَلِكَ is used for masculine singular nouns which are far. You have got new masculine singular noun vocabularies. This concludes our lesson for today. Write your suggestions, thoughts, or questions in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video lesson. Wassalamualaikum.